the Onyx. I Internet. It's me, your local neighbourhood Lycan. Today I'm working, hence why I've got this beautiful backdrop of my van. And sorry you're on a bit of a slant there, but that's that's what we've got set up. Some dude's just driving past me and he just looked at me and like gave me a little like... Because he could see that I had my camera on my dashboard. Because I'm using my freaking DSLR camera today. My vlog camera's just a little bit shit. She's seen better day. She's like five years old now and she's just... She's not doing well. So speaking of not doing well, my laptop has not been doing well. It took me so long to upload that New York vlog that you just saw because my laptop wouldn't turn on and then I updated my laptop because my girlfriend called Apple and they were like, do this, do that. So she fixed that and then my iMovie wouldn't export the file after I spent like three hours editing that video. Yeah, it turned out I had to update my iMovie as well. But oh my god, it was just so annoying. Very frustrating. Mercury and retro... Mercury and retrograde really just fucking with me. So I got my smoothie bowl which was like cacao powder, peanut butter, chia seeds, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, super feast reishi powder and you can use this discount code if you like. And then I put a little bit of white wolf nutrition iced coffee protein powder. I'm actually not affiliated with them anymore. They wanted me to do four posts a month on my feed. It wasn't sustainable for me with everything that was going on in my life and then ongoing it's just not really sustainable for me. So I don't affiliate with them anymore but I do really like their protein still. So I'm just using up what I've got left of that and I may buy more or I might try Try like a different brand I'm not too sure at the moment but yeah I just put a little bit of that in there and then I topped it with some Loving Earth bikinis and that's what we have here now it looks like some weird brown soup but yeah so now we're gonna go do some deliveries for work I work in a van all day delivering kombucha to the citizens of South Australia it's really good fun I love it super good so yeah I guess I'm just gonna sort of show you what I eat today and that's basically the gist of, of that what a vegan eats during a work day when she works on the road. And for beverages, I've got two liters of water, both in insulated things. This one's just a hydro flask that I got in America. <gasps> it did get a dent on it when I dropped it yesterday. Oh, one like one prayer. And then I got this one from Pargo, which is a really cool brand that reached out to me and they're like, we make insulated bottles and for every bottle you buy, you supply five years of water to someone in need, which I think is really, really cool. Um, so they sent me this water bottle and then also this insulated coffee mug, which is my new favorite travel cup and yeah I take it to work every day and they're matching super cute they also come in a white color which I was gonna get but I'll probably just dirty it I'll get marks on it or something because I'm a feral and then I also have some peppermint tea in this clean canteen insulated cup big fan of the old insulated cup let me tell you that can I get the key in the ignition yikes for lunch we have let me just Rack open my new container my girlfriend bought me from Costco. Shout out. We have falafel. Hummus and carrots. These are not homemade falafel because I'm not that skilled. <laughs> Let's be real. And the hummus isn't homemade either. I'm a vision of health. Carrots involve a lot of chewing. Like a lot. And as someone who eats a lot of smoothie bowls and acai and soup, chewing is very foreign to me. It's just so time consuming. <coughs> in the hills today, like in the middle of nowhere, and my fuel lights just come on, so that's a bit yikes. Cheers. Like, you've got to have falafels with hummus, because they're just so dry. Like, I mean, essentially it's all just chickpeas, but different forms. It's so interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna go now. Um, yeah, this is my lunch. So, I'm home from work and I have just showered. And when I got home from work, I had one of these acai on the go energy things. It's kind of like an ice block, but acai. I had one of those as soon as I got home from work. And then my girlfriend popped over to drop over a package that I got delivered to her house and then I had a shower. And here we are. My skin's really bad at the moment, as you can see. Um, Potentially. It's not really a vibe. Um, I've got this rash here. I don't know what it's from. Maybe it's from gluten. Maybe it's just from 
nothing at all and then I've got a bit of acne going on but I am due for my period it's supposed to come today or tomorrow and it's still not here yet and I've been absolutely suffering I don't know if you guys have ever looked up PMDD but that's if you look at the symptoms of what that is that's pretty much what I've had for the past week it's been quite terrible so today's choose today's Wednesday and I woke up Saturday morning that just went and I like had really bad anxiety and I was like crying and it was like so bad and I don't even know what happened but yeah, that's what that was. And then we ended up having a good weekend, so it was fine. I just wanted to share that with you. So, haven't been doing super well. I pretty much, I spend a lot of time with my girlfriend. And we have designated Wednesday nights to being apart. Which is definitely a bit rough for the both of us. And we end up missing each other a lot yikes so yeah wednesdays are our designated day apart like you know if we have plans or we're seeing friends or whatever like we'll go do that but like generally speaking like if we don't have any plans we'll spend every night together um, so yeah wednesdays are our designated day where we spend apart because i start really early thursday mornings so it just kind of works out that way she pretty much cooks for me all the time <laughs> yeah so i have to like cook something for myself which i'm not gonna do spoiler alert so i like was gonna make a tofu scramble but the tofu is actually bad because it was like leftover tofu and I think it was leftover from not last weekend, the weekend before. So yeah, that's yuck. We're not eating that. So yeah, I'm not cooking tofu scramble and I don't want to like start cooking like a whole meal. It's going to take forever. So I'm basically just having this leftover Solara meal that I froze. Yeah, pretty handy when I'm left to fend for myself. So this is their golden light korma. It's one of my favorite dishes from there. Uh, if you don't know, Solara is a plant-based delivery meal. Delivery? <laughs> delivery meal. <laughs> meal delivery service yeah there's that and i'm pretty sure this code still works because i'm not collaborating with them at the moment but it's like in rochelle 20 you get 20 dollars off your first order i'm not too sure if there's an expiry date on that but try it out see here you go um anyway so i'm just gonna heat that up and i'm gonna eat that for dinner like i do know how to cook i'm just lazy i'm probably gonna spend my night playing the sims let's be honest and i might have a brownie with ice cream for dessert because we made these gluten-free they're like the or organ or grand brand I'll insert a picture. Yeah, they're like gluten-free, vegan, brownie mixture. So we just made those the other week because I was... We made them last week because I was PMSing. And Christina's like, you know what you need? You need chocolate because I know you like chocolate when you're due for your period. So, so yeah, we made those last week. And they've just we've got some leftover still. I'm going to have one of those later. I'm blabbering on. I'm just going to fucking go sit down, honestly. Is it too early for dinner? What's the time? Oh, it's literally 5 p.m. I can have dinner now, right? I think yes. All right, so this is virtually what it looks like. This is, this is my dinner. Ow, it's hot. 